it's almost my birthday. <laughs> and so for my 34th birthday, I wanna paddle a mile every hour for 24 hours, which would only equal 24 miles. So I have like a random 10 of my 24 hours, I'm gonna paddle an extra mile so that by the end of my 24 hour paddling, I will have hit 34 miles. And in my kind of like 50, 45 minutes in between each mile of paddling, I'm going to kind of go around the house. We just moved in here. Say hi, Corey. And so I'm just gonna kind of walk around, make a list of the things that I would like to get done. And when I'm not paddling, I'm just gonna chip away at these small little tasks. I was born at 10.59 p.m., but I'm gonna start at 10.59 a.m. because it's my birthday. How are you feeling, husband? Good. I'm here breakfast supporting. This idea obviously is not my own. Um, I'm, I'm, not, take credit. I'm not that smart. Yeah, there's a guy down in Australia, Bo Miles. He does paddle. Um, he's a paddler, but he's, a, I think, a runner first and foremost. Shout out to Bo Miles who did, he did a mile an hour for 24 hours. I think his first mile, though, he did like three or some miles. I or, forgot. Because he made it a marathon. I would have to do math. I don't even know how long a marathon is. Um, two, I think. Yeah, so he did oh like God. two or three miles on his first run to make it a marathon in 24 hours. All right, so before I get started, um, less than 30 minutes until I get moving, but my, my motivation corner, I'm going to list off, I'm gonna write the hours that I'm gonna be paddling, and then that way I can come in, I can mark them off, I can designate which ones I did two hours, I can kind of keep my tally going. I've kind of already started making a list of the things I want to work on around the house. It's just going to be slow and steady. These are things that bring me joy. I'm not doing this to force myself into like working hard and laboring. It's not like a trick. It is so that I can have experiences throughout the day on my birthday. I'm going to learn something new every hour. I'm gonna work on something new every hour. The person that I am when I, right now, I'm not the same person that I'll be when I finish this. Yeah, like I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. Once I get to like midnight, because I am not like into clubbing anymore, um, in a life, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, these wee hours would probably have been very easy for me. Um, but now in my mid thirties, that is, uh, these hours are not my jam. I see caffeine in my future. <laughs> Hooray! We will get started on time. Well, you don't remember one mile is yet, or half mile. Mm. You have a good visual. Well, that's why I have my GPS. It doesn't matter which way I go. I can go a different way each time. All right, 11 o'clock on the dot. Woohoo! Okay. First two miles in the books. Got a little bit of a boat wake out there. All right, let's um, let's go look at some house projects. It would be easier just to go out and paddle 34 miles straight and then sleep at night like a normal human with a normal circadian rhythm. Dividing it into one to two miles every hour on the hour, it, it kind of forces you to schedule your time stopping every mile coming back to the house and and switching gears, switching projects, and then trying to stop whatever I'm doing and restart um, the paddling and come back and restart the projects. That, changing gears like that over and over, that requires, it's a different kind of discipline. Uh, my first two projects of the day, I have this old tumble mat from my gymnastics teacher when I was 10 years old. She gifted it to me, um, and I'm just kind of refurbishing it. It is well over 
24 years old. I'm surprised it still even exists because I'm going to start doing more mobility and tumbling as I age to keep my body limber. And then I bought an old antique firewood holder and I've been meaning to paint it. So I'm going to do those first. And then I'm going to get set up uh, to continue staining the deck and water sealing it. Yay. A couple of ground rules for my personal challenge. I mean, if you ever decided to do this, you can totally pick your own rules. Um, my rules are I have to have everything I need for the project. I'm not allowed to go to the store. If I don't have it, I need to move on to the next thing. I'm getting set up for the deck staining now. So I ripped the satellite dish off the roof because I don't watch television. And um, I'm turning it into a mushroom bird bath. And so right now I'm painting the gills on it, on the underside, and then I'm gonna flip it around, seal it to make sure that water holds. Um, and then I'm gonna paint it like a really like psychedelic colored mushroom and bolt it onto a tree so the birds can drink and splash around. Yay! fun so far. I think it's more fun because my neighbors are cheering every time. All right, so mat refurb, complete fire wood holder primed, uh, bottom of mushroom accents added. I'm eating a salad. Romaine? The okras and the tomatoes from my little teeny micro garden. Carrots, cucumbers, some chicken tenders, and balsamic vinegar. All right, post lunch. Would be nice to take a nap right now. No. I think we'll do dough smiles. What do you think? Two? Six. We're gonna do two. All right, two miles set in the GPS. So we overshot because we caught some sick boat wakes. So we went um, 2.5 miles on that one. We met our neighbors who found our dock number, which is cool. Oh, and then we met a baby turtle named Beverly. She's adorbs. She was the size of the, the top digit of my thumb. So we'll enjoy a nice float and mm. go do the next round. Are you gonna, so you're joining me for this next no, round? I'm already wet. Oh, oh, how nice. I didn't get any projects done in that one. It's okay, I let my lunch digest. to be had but I am 10 miles in one two three four five six hours in to my 24 hour 34 mile birthday extravaganza not much but um watered some plants I'm finished painting all of my side projects um, they're drying and then I can put them back where they belong so I mean it's not like 
I'm not psychotically productive or anything. It's just slow and steady, pleasant progress. Weird little nagging things that you just never seem to find the time to do. feeling kind of tired I think dinner revived me which is you know that's a constant ongoing struggle I have is learning how to eat enough for my activity levels but yeah this is this is pretty cool feels better now so right now I feel like the big takeaway is that I underestimate how long it takes me to do these small projects like I'm I have this giant list of things that I wanted to finish today in between all the paddles and work on tomorrow. I'm using, when I'm using my time, I'm getting things done quicker because I want to finish one project before I go paddle so I don't want it to linger into the next, you know, small block of time. So it shows me that I can finish some things quicker, but sometimes it's not better to go quicker because you want to do a I guess a good job or enjoy the process. But there's something to be said for the discipline to do the easy thing every hour on the hour. The benefit is there. The change in your personality is there. The working through that and being slightly uncomfortable, that's the important part. So we are at 9 30 i'll be going for the 12th paddle next and i will be halfway done 11 o'clock at night i'm only over halfway done with the hours not with the mileage sadly so we're gonna do Corey's gonna join me for this one we're gonna do two miles at 11 p.m and then this last break, I have been back at it. I've been working on stuff in the house, getting some momentum back on the house projects. My birthday ball. I have a ball. Ooh, colors. So what are you doing, April? I am painting a chalkboard wall in my gym. It'll dry when I go paddle this next time, and then when I come back, I can put on the second coat. Somewhere in there, I'm eating birthday cake at one in the morning. Um, That's when birthday cake is usually consumed. Perfect. Like, oh, what's something that, it was on my list, but it was really low on the list, but it's so easy, so I'm just doing it, because something that I want to do eventually anyway, and it's cathartic, I can just fuck, fuck, fuck. She looks more tired than I do. Because you're a night owl, and I'm a morning lark. I've also had espresso. Okay, maybe I'll go have some of that. Just finished up the 2 a.m. paddle. Before that, we ate the birthday cake. Sleepy. And now we're sleepy. Um, I'm going to take a quick nap. My, my chalkboard wall is dry. The cat 
is here. Things are trucking along. I'm gonna start doing my two milers once we get first light, kind of nautical twilight, first light, it's gonna creep in. And personally, for me, when that happens, I always, I just get a huge jump of energy, even if I didn't sleep, my circadian rhythm will kick right in. And I'll start hitting those uh, two milers, and that way I can finish up 34 miles in the 24 hours of my birthday. I mean, almost on cue. The 3 a.m. one is just, Corey's passed out. I'm tired. 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. I get to mark off two. You know, you don't even need the headlamp anymore. The moon is, um, it's really bright and I can see and I haven't turned the lights on the last two times. Oh, dang. I think one more coat. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. So close. So tired. Final hour. This is the last paddle. How do you feel? Well, now that it's the last one, I feel okay. I mean, I feel good though. I, I'm, I guess I'm glad that I didn't, you know, like at 3 a.m. say, oh, never mind. <laughs> let's, let's not do this anymore. My big takeaway going into my 34th year of life on this planet, I don't want to get too comfortable. I, you know, I don't, I always want to do something hard. I want to do something hard every year, something that makes me uncomfortable, something that isn't particularly pleasant. Turn the mind, flip the switch, and say, I'm doing this. I want to go into my 34th year of life a stronger, better human than I was last year. And I think that I accomplished that by getting up in the middle of the night and being eaten by all the bugs. April's Elk, 34 miles, 24 hours. Yay, 34. I don't feel any different. Good. I feel younger because of it. Well, happy birthday. I feel sore. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, husband. Now it's time for all the what and all the what. Cake and presents? Yay, cake and presents. Okay, give me all my presents. <laughs> okay, one of them might be in a tree. I see it. Oh, God, I thought my challenge was done. I, I finished. Nope, now you have to find your presents. 